Hi children, good afternoon. I hope you are fine. Can you record our last class? Uh, we have studied about five type of nutrients, which are the uh, first one carbohydrate, second one fat, third one protein, fourth one vitamin, and fifth one minerals. Okay, very good. You have already read that one of the many organ system in the human body. Let us learn more about this particular system. Digestive system. You have already read that the digestive system, one of the many organ system in the human body. The food we eat containing different nutrients. The food we eat containing different nutrients. Nutrients are complex substances. Our body has to change into simpler substances in order to use them. Our body has to change into simpler substances in order to use them. So, the process by which complex substances present in the food break down, broken down into simpler substances is called digestion. What is digestion? The digestion, the process by which Complex substances present in the food bro broken down into similar substances is called digestion. This idea digestion. The process by which complex substances Present in the food broken down into single single substances is called. Digestion. So here, the process by which complex substances present in the food broken down into similar substances is called digestion. Do you understand? The blood absorbs similar substances and carry them to various part of the body. The blood absorb similar substances and carry them to all part of the body. The organs that work together, the organs that work together to obtain nutrients from the food make up the digestive system. The organs that work together to obtain nutrients present in the food make up the digestive system. First one, mouth. First organ, mouth. Second organ, food pipe. Third one, stomach. Liver. Pancreas. Small intestine. And large intestine. Mouth, food pipe, stomach, 
liver, pancreas, small intestine, large intestine are the organ of the digestive system. Okay, first one. The mouth. First one, the mouth. Okay. The food we eat, the food we eat, chewed into small pieces. The food we eat, chewed into small pieces by the teeth. By the teeth. As we chew the food, it mixes with saliva in the mouth. It mixes with the food and makes it soft and easier to swallow. First one, mouth. The food we eat is chewed into small pieces by the teeth. As we chew the food, mixes with the saliva. It mixes with the food and makes it soft and easier to swallow. When you swallow the food, when you swallow the food, it enters the food pan or esophagus. When you swallow the food, it enters the food pan or esophagus. It is a long, narrow, muscular tube. It is a long, narrow, muscular tube. That opens into the stomach. That opens into the stomach. The contraction and relaxation of the wall of the food pipe push the food down to the stomach. The contraction and relaxation of the wall of the food pipe push the food down to the stomach. The food remaining in the stomach for a few hours. The food remaining in the stomach for a few hours. Stomach is a bag like structure. Stomach is a bag like structure. It is turn the food continuously and turn into fine paste. To turn the food continuously and turn into fine paste. The food and the small industry. The food and the Small intestine. Small intestine is a long, narrow, coiled tube. Small intestine is a long, narrow, coiled tube. The digestive juices from liver and pancreas. The digestive juices from liver and pancreas mix with the food into small intestine. Mixed with the food into small intestine. They digest carbohydrate, fat, protein present in the food. They digest carbohydrate, protein, fat present in the food. The digestion complete in the small intestine. The digestion complete in the small intestine. Useful substances from the digested food are absorbed by the blood vessel present to the core of the small intestine. The useful substances to every part of the body. The blood transport useful substances every part of the body. Okay. Next one, the undigested food the undigested food enters the large intestine. The undigested food enters the large intestine. Water is absorbed from passed on the gland. Water is absorbed and passed on the gland. It is thrown out of the body in the form of faces. It is thrown out of the body in the form of faces. The last part of the large intestine called rectum. The last part of the 
large intestine called rectum the faces stored rectum the faces stored in the rectum t it is thrown out of the body through the ends still thrown out of the body through the ends did you understand on small listen here first one mouth the food we eat is stored into small pieces by the teeth it mixes with the saliva in the mouth it mixes with the food and make it so soft and swallow easier to swallow second organ food pipe when you swallow the food it enters the food pipe or esophagus this is a long narrow muscular tube that open into the stomach the contraction and the relaxation of the wall of the food pipe push the food down into the stomach stomach the food remaining in the stomach for a few hours it churn the food continuously and turn into pile base stomach is like bag like structure the food enter the small intestine Small intestine is a long narrow hole the tube that digests juices from liver and pancreas mix the food in, in, in the small intestine they digest carbohydrate fat protein present in the food the digestion of food completed in the small intestine useful substances from the digested food are absorbed by the blood vessel present to the wall of the small intestine the blood transport useful substances to all part of the body the digested food and there the large intestine water is absorbed from undigested food and passed on the blood it is thrown out, out in the form of faces the last part of the large intestine called the rectum the faces stored in the rectum till it is thrown out of the body through the ends okay did you understand let's watch one video properly it will help in digestion process what happens to the food when it goes inside our body i'll explain you that first let me tell you about our digestive system the human digestive system comprises of the mouth esophagus stomach liver small intestine large intestine and rectum now let us see the process of digestion The main steps of digestion are ingestion, digestion, absorption, and egestion. It starts with the mouth, which has the teeth, tongue, and saliva. Even before you eat, when you smell a tasty food, see it, or think about it, digestion begins. Saliva begins to form in your mouth. When we eat the food. the teeth cuts and grinds the food and the saliva gets mixed with it this chewed food then goes into the food pipe 
the food pipe is also called as the esophagus from there food then enters the stomach it is a bag of digestive juices the liver also produces juices which help in digestion the food then reaches the small intestine it is very long and coiled all the nutrients from the food are absorbed here finally the digested food goes into the large intestine from here the food is removed out of the body through the anus now i understand how the digestive system works process of digestion chew your food properly it will help in digestion process what happens to the food when it goes inside our body i'll explain you that first let me tell you about our digestive system the human digestive system comprises of the mouth esophagus stomach liver small intestine large intestine and rectum now let us see the process of digestion the main steps of digestion are ingestion digestion absorption and egestion it starts with the mouth which has the teeth tongue and saliva even before you eat when you smell a tasty food see it or think about it digestion begins saliva begins to form in your mouth when we eat the food the teeth cuts and grinds the food and the saliva gets mixed with it this chewed food then goes into the food pipe the food pipe is also called as the esophagus from there food then enters the stomach it is a bag of digestive juices the liver also produces juices which help in digestion the food then reaches the small intestine it is very long and coiled all the nutrients from the food are absorbed here finally the digested food goes into the large intestine from here the food is removed out of the body through the anus now i understand how the digestive system works process of digestion chew your food properly it will help in digestion process what happens to the food when it goes inside our body i'll explain you that first let me tell you about our digestive system the human digestive system comprises of the mouth esophagus stomach liver Are you guys from this video? First one, mouth, saliva begins digestion of carbohydrate. Mouth, saliva begins. digestion of carbohydrate you said here first one mouth saliva begins digestion of carbohydrate second one food pipe take food to the stomach take food to the stomach food pipe take food to the stomach next one stomach food change into paste and digestion continues food change into paste and digestion continues stomach 
could change into paste and digestion continues. Next one, small intestine. Digestive juices from liver and pancreas added to food digestion completed. Small intestine, digestive juices from liver and pancreas added to food and digestion completed. Small intestine, digestive juices from liver and pancreas pancreas added to food digestion completed. Next one, useful substances and added from small intestine. Useful substances enters blood from small intestine. And blood from small intestine large intestine water is absorbed from undigested food and passed on to the blood water is absorbed from undigested food and passed on the blood. Large in the same water is absorbed from undigested. and pass on to the back. On to the black. Last one, rectum, store base, and as discard base. Rectum, store base, and as discard base. Rectum, store, waste, anus, discard, waste. All of you said here, first one, mouth, foot by stomach, small intestine. Large intestine, rectum, anus, mouth, foot, pipe, stomach, small intestine, large intestine, other organ of the digestive system. First one, mouth. Saliva begins digestion of carbohydrate. Saliva begins digestion of carbohydrate. Okay. Next one, foot, pipe. Take food to the stomach. Take food to the stomach. First one, mouth. Saliva begins digestion of carbohydrate. Next food by take food to the stomach. Take food to the stomach. Stomach food change into waste and digestion continues. 
stomach food change into paste and digestion continues small intestine digestive juices from liver and pancreas adder food digestion completed large intestine water is absorbed from and digested food and passed to the blood rectum stored waste and as discharge waste Listen. Mouth saliva begins digestion of carbohydrate. Food pipe take food to the stomach. Stomach food change into paste and digestion continues. Small intestine digestive juices from liver and pancreas added to food digestion completed. Useful substances enter blood from small intestine. Large intestine water is absorbed from undigested food and passed on to the blood. Rectum stores waste and discards waste. Okay, one small mouth saliva begins digestion of carbohydrate. Food pipe. takes food to the stomach stomach food change into waste and digestion continues small intestine digestive juices from liver and pancreas add to food digestion completed useful substances enter blood from small intestine large intestine water is absorbed from undigested food and passed on to the blood rectum stores water as discharge waste okay i hope you understood my class very well you can read your textbook more time if you have any doubt you can call me okay see you next time